this is the convert MIDI to audio video. And first we're going to start off uh, converting some MIDI data to audio through a VST synthesizer. And I've got my FM uh, VST synthesizer patched in and we went through that on the uh, using uh, VST synths uh, video. So I'm going to go over here into this setting here and I've got here's my MIDI right down here and all I'm going to do is go up here to process mix down and I'm going to build mix to the current hot track right here. I'll just say OK. Yes. And I just converted this MIDI to audio running it through my VST uh, FM synthesizer. Now, just to let you know, if I play, I'm, I'm going to mute this so this data isn't being played. I can also go down here and right click. Um, if I right click there, I can disable the track. Let's disable it. That way it's not being used at all through the CPU. Now if I press, I can go into this here. Here, here I have it. I just mixed it down. It's in my regions view. If I play it, I'm not going to hear anything. And the reason being is because I have my FM7 synthesizer patched in to the input of track one. That's the reason. So, let me give you this some good advice. When you are patching in, when you are converting audio or MIDI to audio through a VST synthesizer or any, or from your, say, my S80 keyboard to the uh, synthesizer, what I do is I, I reserve channel one, this is what I do, and I call it BST. MD for mix down and then I reserve this for that doing all my mix downs if one channel at a, at a time of course if I'm doing it that way but I would just mix everything to that and then all I have to do is control left drag right down to there press the home button and, and we're playing <laughs> Pretty simple. See, it's not going to play when it's up there. So now I can, do, if I want to mix this, uh, do do another sound through this. All I have to do is go here, and of course, uh, I'm a, I'm a track. Uh, I need to move to track one. I can now change this sound if I want to, to a different sound, and then mix it down through that other sound, and then mix the two sounds together. You know, I can do whatever I want, but just uh, I, I reserve that channel for all my mix downs. And then once I'm done doing all my mix downs, I can go back here and remove that VST instrument from input one. Then if I want to uh, drag these guys back up here, you know, rename it, whatever I want to rename it. Won't name it anything, but see, it will play. That's that's how you mix your MIDI or convert your MIDI uh, data into audio through a VST instrument. Now, next, we'll uh, let's do convert our MIDI instrument uh, data into uh, audio through my keyboard, my S80 keyboard. Let's see how that works. Okay, I've got my S80 set up here, and of course I had to go up here to the port here and change it from the VST to the S80. Okay, and, and I showed you how to do that in your device setup. Basically, <clears throat> I had the MIDI workstation going through the VST. Now I want it to go out to the S80 so I can record the S80 sounds. And let's test her and see what it sounds like. Okay, I'm going to go over here and mute this channel. 
forgot to do that. Okay, we're back. And, okay, simple, very simple. We're going to record the audio from the uh, S80 hardware real live synthesizer. And what we'll do is just go up here and press the uh, record. I got my, assigned my uh, devices. I'm coming in on these two, stereo. And one thing you'll notice here, just to press play, I can press play. And it's just playing the, the MIDI workstation. I'm not getting a level here. I want to get a level here so that I get a nice recording. So what I have to do here is just press, I press SRP or the space bar. That's a good enough level. Now, to record, you don't just press record. It doesn't work that way. What you do is this. Go up here and select a marked region so that you can, you have to SRP record the MIDI workstation. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to press beginning, the B key, and if this wasn't marked, I would go to the end here and press E and it would mark it. You know how to mark areas, but uh, just to make sure you understand, I go up here, I'm going to press the home button, get there, I'm going to press B, then I'm going to tab, go down here, tab to the end of that one. I know that's how far I want it to record. Go back up and press E. I just marked it. Easy. Home key. Now, all I do is, now watch the record light. I'm going to press the space bar, or you can press SRP, whatever you want. Learn to use the keyboard. Okay, you see it stopped recording right there at the end no problem and I can X out of this and I can either mute this if you you can mute that so it doesn't play anymore or you can right click right click in here and disable the track that way it's not being no CPUs being used and we'll go right over here and we have uh, <clears throat> this track is muted let's hear our recording Okay, it worked out. And we can now mix these two together. Yeah, whatever you want to do. You know, use your creative uh, ability. So, I mean, it, it's that simple. I just uh, changed this MIDI into audio by running it out of the computer into my S80 computer um, or synthesizer I'm sorry out of my S80 synthesizer into my mixer back into the computer and recorded it on track one so there you have it that's converting MIDI into audio through VST synthesizers or drum machines or whatever or through your hardware controllers on the out in the real world. So there you go.